Let's assume we wish to input a piecewise defined function into the calculator and graph it. Displayed here is the example that I will use for demonstrating how to do this. So we have f of x is equal to x plus 2 if x is less than negative 1 or x squared minus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 0. So suppose we wish to input this piecewise defined function into the calculator. So what we're going to do is we're going to select y equals, we're going to type in a parenthesis, and then the first branch, x plus 2, put that in a closing parenthesis, and then we will go ahead and type in the condition upon which this branch is used. And that would be x is less than negative 1. I'm going to close that, and we're going to hit plus. And then we're going to type in the next branch in its own set of parentheses, x squared minus 1. And then we'll type in its condition in its own set of parentheses. In this case, x is greater than or equal to 0. And now we'll go ahead and close that and hit graph. And here is the graph of your piecewise function. The way piecewise functions are set up on the calculator is based on Boolean algebra. The inequality statement will evaluate to either a 1 or a 0, 1 being true and 0 being false. When the inequality statement is true, the branch will be multiplied by 1, and when it is false, it will be multiplied by 0. And that's why the plus is there to separate out each branch. But this can cause problems, though. For example, if we wanted to evaluate this piecewise function at the value negative 1, it gives it a value of 0. But this is not correct. The function does not exist at x equal negative 1, but the calculator evaluates to 0 here. This is a result of the Boolean evaluation. In fact, any value in the interval negative 1 to 0, with negative 1 being included, would give an incorrect y value. The y value should be blank. These values are not in the domain of the function. The graph as displayed here appears to be accurate. Let's see what the calculator is actually graphing, and we'll do this by removing the axes. So we hit second and zoom, and we scroll down to where it says axes on, and we highlight axes off and hit enter. And then we hit graph again. And here we can see this little horizontal line that, that was hidden by the axes being shown. But this is what the calculator is actually graphing. And this little horizontal line there should not be part of the graph. And again, this is a result of the Boolean evaluation. So watch out for these domain arguments when determining values and graphs of these piecewise defined functions.